Hey you. Yeah. You. You didn't stumble here by chance, so let's talk. My name is Tyann, but a lot of people call me Taj, and I'm most known for my loud New York personality and my unfiltered opinions. The Melanated Mindset is a safe space for unpopular opinions and heated debates amongst a diverse melting pot of those of us that classify as a melanated millennial. And I don't care if you got a lot of melanin, just a little bit of melanin, or hell, you just melanated by association. Everybody is welcome. Now, I can't speak for y'all, but after seeing what being an adult is really about, nah, I got some things to say. And I know y'all do too. So let's talk about it, because what's really going on? What is up, y'all? For those of y'all that are new, welcome. For those of you that aren't, welcome back to another Melanated Monday. Y'all know how I do. I'm jumping straight into my complaint of the week. This week's complaint of the week is now that I am back home in Italy and all the fun and vacation is done, I now have to settle and get my life together and get me and my family ready to move across the ocean, across the world, low key, for real, for real, back to the States. And it's like, we've been dying to go back to the States for mad long, but now we actually got to put in the work to get there. And I don't think y'all understand just how stressful moving across the world is. It was already stressful when it was just us. Now we got to throw a kid in the mix. It's about to be a hot-ass mess, but we're going to get it done like we always do. And, yeah, I don't know how, but it's going to get done. Story of my life. Shit always going to get done. But my highlight of the week is that I am back home in Italy. So me, Malik, Xavi, we are all reunited after six long weeks back together again. And it just feels good, like, being around my family back at home, it was dope. But now that I have my own family, like, I be wanting, you know, I be wanting that family time with just us. Like, we have to create those memories. I can't always just hold on to the ones that I have, you know. I have to create new ones, have my own family now. And it's just things like that that make me realize, like, damn, I'm grown as hell. I'm somebody mom, somebody wife. What the hell? When did I get here? How did I get here? I don't know, but we we here. We doing the damn thing. Everybody alive, fed, got a roof over our heads. So shit, we we moving on up in the world. And that's going to roll us into our Fendi fact of the day. This this week's Fendi fact is going to be a little different because it's not necessarily a statistic or a fact, but it's more so a definition. And it's the the definition of the word that we're going to be talking about today. So according to the Merriam-Webster the, the dictionary people manifestation is classified as a noun and there's a couple definitions for it but i'm gonna read the one that i want to go with today and it says manifestation is a public demonstration of power and purpose now that we done jumped off the edge and we done figured out what we talking about let's talk about it because a public demonstration of power and purpose. And I know some of y'all been hearing this manifest manifestation, these words all over social media, all over the internet. It's just, I don't know. I guess it's a trend. I don't, I don't know. Don't don't make me lie, y'all. Not that hit getting kind of old. But it's something that I always heard people talking about and I'm like, "All right, it's one of those things that sound good. Like, yeah, you manifest what you want like but deep down, I was always like, mm, well, some of us don't have superpowers. Like, I get some people gifted, touch, they they could do that. They could say, I, I want this, and boom, they got it. That's dope. But I always, for some reason, felt like that was a superpower. Like, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't think any and everybody could just do it. And that is when I was like, you know what? I got to be doing my own research. I can't just be relying on the research that be out there because people be lying. Like, look at websites like Wikipedia. Some of that shit be wrong as hell and we know it. But, I mean, it's up there. Somebody put it up there, so it's it's out there now. You see what I'm saying? Like, no. If I want answers, sometimes I got I to gotta do my own research when I can. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. And, y'all. This is going to sound mad dramatic, 
and I I know it is, and I promise it don't feel that dramatic to me. But y'all, my whole fucking life changed. Like for real, I'm no that's that's no cap. That's not being funny. That's me being dead ass serious. Like, whoa, for real, for real. I feel like I knew there was power in like the tongue and the words you speak and even the things that you think about. But it's crazy how much you can change your life if you just take the necessary time, step, and accountability to sit back and reflect on like, okay, what is it that I want to do? What is it that I'm good at? And whatever that is, let me speak positively to myself. Let me think positively to myself because I know what I'm capable of. And I know that this is an achievable goal. It's something about being able to say that, mean that shit, and then turn around and do that shit. As much as I felt like it was a superpower on the other end, low-key, y'all, I'm still feeling like it's a superpower now that I'm in it. But I don't know if I just, I don't know. Y'all remember how they said in December we were supposed to get superpower? I don't, I don't know. It's not saying I got none, but holy shit. Like, for real. Uh, By now, by the time y'all are hearing this, if you go, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, at the dot melanated mindset, I've seen, uh, I have a post up there, like a motivational post, but it, at the time that I'm recording this is literally the same day that that happened. So I was just like feeling inspired and I was like, fuck it, let me turn the mic on. But it's a motivational post about, I was scrolling on my Instagram. That's another thing, like. When we talk about manifestation, in order for you to like get the positivity deep into your subconscious, I believe y'all, not no doctor, not no psychiatrist, none of that. Like, I don't got no degrees and none of that. It's not what my degree is in. But you have to, you have to trick the algorithm if you're going to be on social media because you want to just be seeing things that reflect the life you want, the mindset you want, be following people that you genuinely aspire to be like that. Not even on no fan stuff, but genuinely positive, motivational people. And you have to engage with those posts. You have to like them, comment on them, save them, share them, do whatever you got to do to see more of that. Until like your explore page and your news feed just feels like it's filled with positivity. And I feel like when you do that, you subconsciously are reminding yourself of your goals. You're manifesting them Literally, just by seeing little things daily and literally, you're tricking the algorithm, but you're tricking yourself almost into believing, I can do this. I want this. You're reminding yourself that I want this. And it works. It's so crazy. But in regards to the post, I made a post about scrolling on my timeline one day and one of the astrology pages that I follow, so I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to butcher it. But if you go on Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I went on her page one day, and y'all, obviously, if you're listening to this and don't already know, can't already tell, I am a Virgo. Very textbook Virgo. However, I was reading the Daily Horoscope for Virgos, and it was one that said, like, now is the perfect time. The way the planets are aligned and the way Pluto is in the seventh throne. Like, she had her little snapple facts to back it up, child. And I was like, oh, okay. She was like, now is the perfect time, Virgo, to write down your manifestations, like everything that you want. If you write it down, you like, it will happen. And I was like, okay, like that was intense, but all right. But for some reason, like as the days go on and I'm just sitting down at the end of the, each day, thinking about the things that I want out of life, the things that I want to achieve. And I was like, for some reason, that post just kept echoing in my head. Like if you want it, write it down. And that's all I kept hearing in my head. If you want it, write it down. And I looked to the left and my mom had like a little notepad. And I was like, all right, I'm going to just swipe this real quick. And I literally just wrote manifestations on top. And I just started jotting down random things that I just wanted to achieve. But I feel like I remember her post saying, be specific. And I know God got a funny sense of humor. I don't know how y'all lives going, but I got to be very specific with what I'm asking for. Because he be giving me what I asked for, but I be leaving stuff out. And I be leaving it up to his interpretation. We be missing the mark just a little bit. And I know some of y'all can relate to that. But I was like, let me be very specific, like down to dates that I wanted to achieve some of these goals by. And let me tell y'all, when I sat in my mom's living room, 
and made that list, I had absolutely no idea how I was going to accomplish any one of those goals. Like, when I say any, I mean not one. It was the wildest. Like, I was literally like a little kid writing out my hopes and dreams, but like, obviously a little more realistic than that. I'm an adult now, but yeah, I was just writing stuff down. And then I was done and I was like, you know what? Let me put a date on this so that when I start accomplishing them, if when I start accomplishing them, I could look back and be like, this is how long it took. And I, I like to create a visual timeline. I'm a very visual person. Y'all heard me say that like, I want to do a friend burn book. Like I like to be able to see my memories out and replay them, not even for anybody else, but just for myself. Like, Honestly, and that's really another reason I wanted to start this podcast. I really just want to document my growth and my change as a person, as a wife, as a mom, as a friend, like all of those things. And I feel like this is the perfect place for me to do this and then just sit back and like play it all for myself. Kind of like how I hit myself in my head. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. To make a long story short, one of those goals on the on that list was that I would get Deval and or... I was very specific in saying and or Kadeen to recognize me on any social media platform. And that's honestly because I'm a fan, but honestly because I love what they do with their platform. I love the perception of their family unit. I just love everything that they seem to stand for. And my support for them has never been a secret. And I feel like they honestly are the reasons that I finally decided to say, you know what, let me start my podcast. Like I've been talking about this for forever, but I just didn't know how to start. And then I seen them announce that they were starting one and it was just so pure and authentic in New York and just everything that I felt like I am. And I was like, you know what, they always give me a sense of if they can do it, like I could do it too. And it's not even from a place of like, I want to do everything they're doing. It's just the doors that they're opening up those are doors I want to walk through and make sure I leave it open for somebody behind me. You get what I'm saying? So I want to take the things that I learn and that I apply and pass it on because I feel like that's what we're supposed to do. Every generation don't have to struggle. We're supposed to be helping it get easier and easier. You get what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down. And I feel like they are paving that footprint for young black millennial not just couples, but individuals to be honest, be open, be raw, be vulnerable about what the fuck is really going on. Like life is hard. It's kicking everybody ass. We can be honest about that. Everybody's going to take hits. You don't have to feel like it's the end of the world, but it just feels like it is because nobody ever talks about the uncomfortable. And it's crazy that I wrote that down earlier in this month. And then I happened to wake up And I looked on Instagram and the first thing that popped up was their pregnancy announcement. They're expecting baby number four. And I was like, oh my God, my best friend tagged me in and I was so excited. Y'all, fangirl moment. I really was hyped. Like if I really knew them, like these was my friends. Because I've been listening to their podcast since the beginning. I've been following their journey for a really long time. Like a really long time. Now that I think about it, like, she, I feel, now I be feeling how them people on YouTube be feeling. I'm minus the entitlement, but like, I feel like I am part of the gang. You feel me? But it, I made a post and I was just like, damn, like, that and took my, my body gal out for this hot girl summer. Like, I knew something was up when I seen her take a break from social media, but I, I wasn't, uh, I definitely wasn't assuming she was Kadeem was pregnant. I was just thinking like, you know, maybe they got something big coming up. Maybe she's been working. She's been doing the damn thing. You know, mommy life, wife life. She's been getting it. But when I saw that she was pregnant, I was so ecstatic because I know DeVal is ecstatic. Like y'all have to follow their journey to really feel the joy and the excitement. And it just makes me feel even better because they're from where I'm from. They're from where me and Malik from. And if you know me, you hear me say, like, they, they are us. They are me and Malik 10 years older. Like, for, for I, I can't speak about the three whole boys. Uh, bless your heart, because if you hear this, I I don't think I want that many. I got one, and he keep my hands very, very full. But it was just crazy that I made the post, and then, like, I went, I worked out, came back to my phone, and I only had one notification. And it was that Deval reacted to my story. And I was like... Uh, nah, no way. Like, 
out of all the times that I tagged him in a post. Now he see it. Like, that's crazy. And then as soon as I opened my Instagram and I went to my, like, my DM section, I literally saw the blue check. And I was like, oh, no, for real. Like, he really seen it, reacted to it. That's, that's dope. He's engaging with his followers. That's so cool. Like, that's so chill. Like, I get everybody don't have time for a response. I wouldn't expect him to, but it it was just crazy how it happened. Because as soon as I seen the notification, y'all, I dug into my book bag that I took home and, and was looking for the notepad. Because I'm like, no, I feel like I wrote this down. Like, I got a deja vu moment when I seen it. So I literally pulled out the notepad and I looked and it was like, I will get Deval and or Kadeen to notice me before the end of the year. Crazy, y'all, no lie. It wasn't even the end of the month. Like, it's not even the end of the month. That is... I don't know. If we not going to say it's related, but can we say that it's not? Like, first of all, shout out to the astrology page for telling me to write it down. I was very specific, and I hope, I don't care what order I accomplished the rest of them in, but I really hope that I, I have faith that I'm going to hit those goals and I'm going to be able to come back and report to y'all just how many, because it's only June. It's only the middle of the, the year. So much can happen in six months. Like, I wrote that down. Like, I guess I know it's just a story interaction, but look at how that happened in not even three weeks. You feel me? Feel me? Six months of hard work, dedication. I, my life would be in a whole nother place. I hope my life is in a whole nother place in a good way. But you get what I'm saying? Like, the sky is the limit. And I feel like when it comes to manifestation, that's what it is. It's believing that the sky is the limit. And I deserve everything between the sky and my feet because why why the hell not i'm gonna do my part i'm gonna do my work but i'm gonna just believe that i deserve it i'm gonna believe that i could get it i'm gonna write it down i'm gonna tell y'all something and then we'll revisit it at the end of the year uh i seen a post uh at the end of 2020 and it was a post about Issa Rae and how i'm not sure if it was for 2019 2020 one of those years she had made a vision board about everything she wanted to accomplish within that year. And by the end of the year, which I believe was the December that I'm talking about, 2020. So she made her 2020 vision board. And by the end of December, she had accomplished damn near everything. I don't remember if it was damn near everything or everything on her vision board. She was on Netflix. She was on HBO. And it was very a very simple vision board, but it just it got her point across. And I keep telling y'all I'm a visual learner. And I thought about it like, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a vision board and I'm going to put it somewhere. When I wake up and I open my eyes, I'm going to see it every day. So subconsciously, just like with the algorithm, I'm going to trick my mind into believing like, yep, I could do this. I'm going to hype myself up just by seeing the things that I want. You feel me? And I called my best friend and I told her and she made one and we made one together on FaceTime. And then I put it up in our room right at the foot of our bed. So when I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I see. And y'all, if this, the... The planets and the Lord keep aligning the way they are. I believe, like I said, it's only June, so I'm not going to speak too soon, but I believe I we are on track because I made Malik make one too. He made his own. And I feel like we are on track to receive everything that we envisioned that we would. And that is solely to the power of manifestation as well as some of equal amount of prayer, like if not more. Like One thing I can say is my relationship with God has Whew, we done been through some things, but right now we locked in <laughs> for real, for real, because I keep asking him for signs. I keep, I just, I keep asking for signs and I feel like he keeps smacking me in my face with some, but I still don't be like, mm, I don't know. And mm, so we, we going back and forth right now, but he is constantly reminding me of how blessed I am and how. If I stay focused, if I stay determined, if I stay good hearted, like like y'all hear me say at the end of every episode, the goal is not just to be good, but to do good. If I am not just a good person, if I don't just do good, if I pass good on, like even more that type of, I guess, joy, that type of happiness, I don't really have the word, that type of fruitfulness will be passed on to my children. You know, do so much good that nothing but good could come to my kid. You get what I'm saying? I feel like you 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 gotta overdo it so that the cup overrunneth and so it runs down on your kids. Y'all feel me? Yeah, yeah, are y'all hearing this? Come on. Nah, I'm joking. But for real, for real, like 
I just look at life totally different. And I think it's so crazy that I felt like I had to hit my rock bottom in order to get to this place. Like I told you, I felt like I was going through postpartum. Postpartum for me was my rock bottom. And I had to literally, what feels like, claw my way out back to the light. And when I got to the top, oh, I'm shining now. Niggas can't tell me nothing. You feel me? But I feel like that's how it's supposed to be. And now I just have such a positive outlook on life and the things that I know I can achieve. And if there's anything I think this pandemic has given me is that the time to self-reflect and know that I'm that bitch. Excuse my friends. I promise I'm going to try to stop cursing, but come on. that That's what needed to be said. And you are that bitch. Or that man. Either or. But COVID shook a lot of things up within me. It gave me time to sit and look in the mirror about all the things I didn't like about myself and all the things that I think people didn't like about me and I, and really sit down and understand why am I like this? I can't just uh, test everything to this is the way I am or this was the way I was raised. I'm getting too old for that. I need to fix the things that I want to be fixed. And like y'all heard me say, unfortunately, I couldn't get a therapist to do all this. So I had to do quite a bit of work at home. So I feel like by the time I get a therapist, y'all, I'm going to be sitting on the couch like, all right, so this is what I got. Help me fill in the blanks. But I really just wanted to come on here real quick and talk to y'all about that because I really feel like, y'all, I really don't be trying to be up here sounding cliche, but if I can manifest little things that I want, that I have no doubt in my mind that y'all can't too. Like, honestly, just try it. And I just, what I, that's what I told myself. What's the worst that could happen? The shit don't come true. Then I right, don't work. But if it happened, we lit. And guess what? Right now, we, we, we warming up quite a little bit. So write down five things, very specific things that you want, that you know that you can have if you put your mind to it. And stick it on the mirror. Stick it above your bed. Stick it wherever you got to stick it. Put it on your phone screen. Somewhere you're going to see it every day. And just do that for 21 days. Because supposedly it takes 21 days to make a break, make or break a habit. And after 21 days, I want you to sit and reflect. Like, are you closer to that goal? And if you are, damn, is it because I subconsciously, you know, tricked my mind the algorithm by just seeing it every day? Did I really manifest this from... The note or the picture that I'm looking at, I manifested this into real life. What's the worst that could happen? But I didn't have a word of the week, excuse me, when I started this episode. But as I'm sitting here editing it and listening back, if I had to choose, I feel like my word of the week would be believe. Because that's what it is to manifest. Uh, in order to manifest things, you have to actually believe believe that you really want it. you got to believe that you deserve it and believe that you can do what it takes to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, You have to generally not just say you want a better life, but believe you deserve one. Believe that you got what it takes to go out there and get one. You feel me? And on that note, if you made it this far, thank you for just rocking with me kicking with me, chopping it up with me, all of that. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. The love, the support, it never goes unnoticed or unappreciated. And if you want to join the conversation in real time and share your personal thoughts and opinions, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the.melanatedmindset. That's where I'm going to be posting all the polls, the questions, the conversation starters, all of that. That's also going to be where you'll get to hear sneak peeks and previews into the episodes to come. It's going to be one hell of a ride. I hope y'all are ready. Until then, I'll see y'all same time, same place next week for hashtag Melanated Monday. And remember, the goal is to be good and do good. Until then, peace y'all.